Let's talk about applications of compound interest. Now, so far, whenever we discussed about compound interest in our earlier video tutorials, we always took examples of bank loans, but there are other applications as well. Now, let's take one such uh, use of compound interest in real world problem. Let's say that you have to tell increase in population of a city. So suppose this is a city. At the end of 2016, the population of this city is 30 lakh. Now, every year, population increases by 5%, 5% per year. Now, you can think of this as the interest on a loan you that you take uh, from a bank and the interest is calculated 5% per annum, right? 5% per annum, you will get some interest. The bank will get some interest. In the same way, this 30 lakh and 5% per year means that it is increasing every year by 5%, just like interest. Now, you have to tell that what would, what was the population at the end of 2019. Okay, so time period is of three years, right? Every year it increases by 5%. It's similar to compounded annually, when you calculate interest compounded annually. So for the first period, that is, first period, that is 2017, for this first period, you can assume that this is a, like take this as principle. You can take this as a principle, right? So the population at the end of 2016 is 30 lakh. It means that at the beginning of 2017, it is population is, population is 30 lakh. And the rate at which it is increasing is 5% per year. So at the end of, at the end of 2017, the population will be what? Will be this initial 30 lakh, one, two, three, One, two, three, four, five, and six plus five percent of this. So thirty lakh. One, two, three, four, five, six, and five percent of this. Right? It's similar to calculating the loan amount at the end of uh, the time uh, that period of time. Right? So at the end of two thousand seventeen, your the population of this city will be. 31 lakh 50,000 okay so this is the population at the end of 2017 now this population will act as you can think of it as the principle for the next period of time that is this will act as a principle for the next period of time so at the beginning of for the second period if you're talking about the second period that is 2018 that is 2018 so at the beginning of 2018 the population will be 31 lakh 50,000 and again the population is increasing at 5% per year right so the this is the rate at the end of 2018 end of 2018 the population will be what will be this 31 lakh 31 lakh 50,000 plus 5 percent of this 31 lakh 50,000 31 lakh 50,000 and 5 percent of it now if you add this you'll get if you add this, you will get thirty three lakh seven thousand five hundred. Now, this thirty three lakh seven thousand five hundred will act as you can think of it as it will act as the principle for the next period of time. So it means that for the third period, 
for the third period that is 2019 2019 the population is 33 lakh at the beginning of 2019 the population is 33 lakh 7500 and again uh, in this year also the population will increase by 5% right per year it means that at the end of 2019 end of 2019 the population will be what 33 lakh 7500 plus now the increase in population will be what will be 33 lakh 7500 and 5% of it so if you calculate it you'll get 34 lakh 72875 this is the population this was the population of this city at the end of 2019 right this is the population now you can straight put in the formula that we have discussed in our earlier video tutorials that the to calculate let's say that the at the end of 2019 So the total time period is of three years, from two thousand seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. So remember the formula that is P. If you have to tell the amount, if you have to tell the amount, then P one plus R by hundred. Raised to power of n, where n will tell you the time period in years, right? Since this is similar to the interest being compounded annually, that the population is increasing by five percent every every year. So this is the formula, if you remember. Now you can straight put here. This p will be the initial value. This the at the end of two thousand sixteen, the population was thirty lakh. So you'll put here thirty lakh. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One plus R is five percent, and this is three. Now, when you'll solve this, you'll get exactly the same answer. You can check it, right? The point is, if you have to, you know, uh, use a formula. If you are asked to use the formula, tell the answer where you are allowed to use the formula. You can straight put here. Otherwise, if you have to show for each and every period, uh, then you'll have to, you know, solve this problem using this method. Now, let's take another example, another situation, real world situation. So, you purchase a laptop, rupees, uh, worth rupees one lakh, and its value depreciated by five percent per year. right that means that if you suppose in 2016 in 2016 you had purchased a laptop whose uh, cost price was 1 lakh now at the end of 2019 it was at the end of 2016 at the end of 2019 that is exactly after 3 years if you want to sell it of course it the person that will buy it will call it second hand laptop right it will not be first hand the second hand laptop means what so if you purchase it at 1 lakh you are not going to sell it at 1 lakh of course you will sell it at some lesser price so you have to calculate that suppose the value depreciated for this laptop is 5% per year the depreciation rate is 5% per year now you have to tell that at the end of 2019 at what price will sell this laptop to that person so let's calculate let's take for the first period that is for the first year for the first year that is 2017 so the this is the initial amount the amount price of laptop the price of laptop is 1 lakh now you can think of this as a principal when we took 
example of bank loans so where we use the term principal you can think of this price as principal now the depreciation rate is 5 percent per year depreciation rate means that every year the price of this or the value of this laptop will go on increasing uh, decreasing it will decrease that's why when you'll sell it it will be called second hand and the price will be lesser than the original cost price so the depreciation rate is the depreciation rate is 5 percent per year now at the end of this first year that is 2017 you have to tell that what will be the price so the price will be what price will be the value or the price let's say the value at the end of 2017 will be 1 lakh 1 2 3 4 5 minus why because the value is depreciated 1 lakh of 1 2 3 4 5 five percent right this is the value depreciated so if you solve it you'll get rupees this will be ninety five thousand this will be ninety five thousand now this ninety five thousand will you can think of this value as a principal for the next year so for the next year second period second year 2018 at the beginning will be the value will be what the price will be 95,000 rupees 95,000 and again in this period also the, the rate of depreciation will be 5% per year right per year means again compounded annually similar case so the value at the end of 2018 will be 95,000 minus 95,000, 5% of 95,000. So the price will be what? Rupees 90,250. Now this will act as a principal. You can think of this as a principal for the next period of time. So this is the third year. That's the beginning of 2019 and now this its price has become or the value has become 90,250. Again, the rate of depreciation is 5% per year. So here, when you will calculate its value at the end of 2019, its value will be what? 90,250 minus 5% of 90,250. So if you solve it, you'll get rupees 85,737.5. So this will be your uh, selling price to that person at the end of 2019 because of the rate of depreciation of 5% by every year. Now, if you have to put, you know, in the form line, then tell the answer like we did here. In this case, you can use the formula again, the same formula because it's like compounded annually. You have to tell the amount. So you'll use the formula amount is equal to P one, not one plus, but minus R by hundred raised to the power of N. That is the time period in years. Why minus? because the value is being depreciated it's not increasing it's decreasing the, by five percent so you'll put the value here p as 31 lakh and this is one minus five percent and raised to the power of three if you calculate it you'll get this same answer right this is the answer so this was about uh, application of compound applications of compound interest in uh, real world situations